90 day fiance moments that made fans so angry. Subscribe to the channel and comment down below saying I subscribe and turn to small shout out giveaway. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Show Palace. TLC's 90 day fiance has quickly grown from reality show to TV empire with high ratings and a whopping five, yes, five spin offs. The series documents the lives of international couples as foreign born fiancés move to the United States to get married. The Americans go to their partners' countries in the spin off 90 day fiance the other way and 90 day fiance bidet. The couples must deal with cultural differences, adjust to, charge, adjust to changing family dynamics and decide in just a few moments if they truly want to get married. Here are some of the most awkward and uncomfortable moments from the 90 Day Fiancé's franchise. Paolo wasn't welcomed by Ross's family. When 90 Day Fiancé Season 1's Colombian beauty, Paolo moved to Oklahoma to be with Fiancé Ross, things immediately got tense between the couples and Ross's conservative parents. When Paolo first arrived, Ross admitted that his parents weren't completely supportive of their relationship. I know that they are hesitant about my engagement with Paolo, that he said. Then during their first dinner at home altogether, it became clear that Ross's parents were uncomfortable with Paolo. The meal was strangely quiet until Paolo asked Ross's parents what they thought of their engagement. The joke was when he first left, when Ross's mum said, was, you know, don't go down there falling in love and, you know, bring a girl back home. Sure enough, he does. Yay. Eventually, the two moved out of Ross's family home and headed to Miami, but not before plenty of other strange interactions between Paolo and her conservative in-laws took place. I am completely in love with Aziza. The money doesn't really matter to me. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work, but I don't ever want to be able to say that I didn't try as hard as I could to be with her. Ashley from 90 Day Fiance Season 6 discovered Jay's Tinder. Despite the age difference, Ashley and Jamaican-born Jay seem to really get along. Jay moved to Pennsylvania to be with Ashley in 90 Day Fiance Season 6, even amidst rumours of his infidelity and Ashley's friends' concerns that Jay could be unfaithful. But just a week after the couple's Las Vegas elopement, Ashley caught Jay talking to other women on tinder ashley on the couch with a glass of wine looked heartbroken as she explained what happened he created the account the day he, we got home from our wedding she said to add insult to injury ashley further shared the gravity of the situation i can't even kick him out of my house she noted adding i'm responsible for him for 10 years it's uncomfortable to watch ashley just a week after her romantic elopement saying that she should have known better but the scene got even weirder when jay walked in the front door he sat next to ashley and simply said you want to talk about it? Probably not. Let's catch everybody up. Just a week after their wedding, Ashley made a surprising discovery about Jay's activities on a dating site, which left her with some big questions about the future of their relationship. 90 Day Fiancés as Zan called Nicole fat multiple times. In season 4 of 90 Day Fiancé, American-born Nicole visited her Moroccan boyfriend Azan. After some tension in their relationship, including doubt from Nicole's family and Azan's comment about her being big a little bit, Nicole was excited to get engaged. Last night, Azan proposed to me, she said, and today is the first day of our journey a new start. But not much seemed to change, especially his problem with her weight. That morning, as Nicole and Azan went to meet their camels, their ride back to the city, Nicole struggled hiking up a hill. When Nicole said she was going to pass out, Azan responded stop being lazy and go to do some workouts honey when she continued to struggle azan said almost there lazy oh my god you're lazy nicole later said to the show's cameras when i hear azan say that's the kind of stuff it just makes me feel like maybe i'm not good enough azan tried to comfort her but even then he still managed to bring the conversation back to her way the first time i saw nicole i see that she's pretty and you know it's cute when i see all all her i mean all her body i was surprised that that she's big a little bit. 90 Day Fiancé star Paul wore protection to swim. In season 1 of 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days, Paul went to Brazil to meet Kareem, his soon-to-be fiancé he met online. Things were already uncomfortable because the two didn't speak the same language and had to communicate through a translator app. But things got downright weird when the couple decided to go swimming. In episode 5, Paul explained that his doctor warned him about drinking and swimming in the water in Brazil. So he pulled out a small cylinder bag. I have this, he shared, holding it up and describing it as a sheath protection bag. He went to the bathroom to put it on, explaining, definitely don't want nothing swimming up my penis. When he finally got in the water, covered in protective wear and a life jacket, Korean who wore a normal swimsuit seemed to be embarrassed by his behaviour, and they soon returned to dry land. The doctor warned me not to drink or swim in any untreated water. And I had this little penis, I guess like a sheath. Definitely don't want nothing swimming up my penis. 
Mark scolded his 19 year old fiance Nikki like she was his daughter. Nikki and Mark's relationship was strange from the beginning. The two who were featured in 90 Day Fiance season 3 had a big age difference. She was 19 while he was 58. Given his age he could have easily passed as dad. In fact Mark seemed to treat Nikki more like a daughter than a fiance and this behaviour began at the very beginning of the season. When Mark picked Nikki up from the airport Nikki admired the sight of the car window. At one point she touched the window. You putting fingerprints on my windows? Mark asked. Ik Nikki looked at him, understandably confused. He explained that she shouldn't put her fingers on the windows, that this was a rule he had for his children. Ra, Nikki put her whole hand on the window in retaliation, and Mark responded with, Nikki, you're messing with my happiness, and said she'd need to clean it with a towel. You're weird, Nikki finally said. Not wrong, Nikki, not wrong. 90 Day Fiance's Carolina found woman's underwear in fiance's closet. When Carolina came to the USA from Colombia in season 3, she was uncertain about her relationship with her fiance, Fernando. He had been unfaithful to her before, so she was on the lookout for any sign of further philandering. In one scene of the show, Carolina looked through drawers in Fernando's home. I look whatever I can find, she said. Eventually, she found a pair of pink panties in Fernando's closet. This is for a girl, she said, holding up the underwear. Carolina Fernando called Fernando upstairs and he nervously and awkwardly tried to give her an explanation. I... that has nothing... that's nothing from recent. That's old, he said. I'm serious. That's... uh... it happened so many years ago that I can't even remember who they from or what they are. He ended up tossing the panties in the trash. While the two still ended up getting married, this uncomfortable moment highlighted one of their biggest early challenges as a couple. Como te sentís? Angela put her finger in Rachel's face during 90 Day Fiancé cast Tell All. While many of the most uncomfortable moments on 90 Day Fiancé happened between couples and their families, some of the most dynamic fights actually occurred on Tell All episodes. In the season 2 Tell All of 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Days, the American cast members talked about Darcy's relationship. Rachel, who travelled to England that season to marry her husband John, told Darcy, your relationship is nothing but a blame game. Darcy seemed to agree, but Angela, who travelled to Nigeria to meet with her fiance, now ex fiance Michael, had a problem with the comment. In defence of them, she said, you don't know nothing about their relationship. I mean, you don't. You can barely know your own yet, Rachel responded with a terse. Excuse me? The exchange then escalated into a tense argument, complete with Angela pointing her finger in Rachel's face. You put your finger practically up my nose, Rachel said. Eventually, Angela walked away, saying she don't do that to me 50 year old granny as she left set. This brings us to the end of our video, I hope you enjoyed it. Hey like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos out on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.